I want to write a function which should give me x power n. If I call this function with power, I want 2 power 4, what answer do I expect from it? If I call this function, what is the answer I'll expect? Yeah, I'll expect expectation is 16. But what if I give 2 power 10,000 or 1, 10 to the power 5? What answer will I expect now? Or can you see, say like, what will be the mistake if I, if this is the line written in front of you, int answer is equal to two power this. The highest value integer can store is this, two power 31 minus one, because 31 bits are available for value and one bit is reserved for sign. So two power 31 minus one is the answer. And two power 31, two power 31 is nothing but, 2 into 2 power 30, which is equal to 2 into 2 power 10 power 3. And I will say now it is nearly equal to into 2 power 10 is 1024. I'm just replacing it with 10 power 3. Just to do a simple uh, decimal numbers uh, conversion. So I'll say it is 2 into 10 to the power 9 roughly. That is the highest value int can store. Right. So this thing that we are talking about, we want to calculate power. Such problems, when they are given to us, these are called exponentiation problem, where you have to calculate power of something. Right. So here, there will be a problem if constraint is, we can calculate this. So these problems, exponential problem will say, find x power n. mod m x can be let's say 1 2 or x can be 0 2 x is a positive number for now constraints i'm putting x is a positive number it can go up to 10 to the power 5 then n can also go up to 10 to the power 5 and most of the times this m value given to us is 10 to the power 9 plus 7 because that's one very big prime number so, and this is, this magical number is used in a lot of competitive programming problems. Print your answer mod this, right? So now the question is, this problem is calculated with mod so that our answer can be validated and integer can store that answer. Right? So this is the problem we are talking about exponentiation. 